Hi guys, welcome to our second video on finding the area of complex shapes. I should say that this is part two. So once again, working with complex shapes, they're shapes with more than one shape in them, and we can divide them up and find the areas of those individual shapes in order to find the entire area of it using the dimensions. So you can do this. A reminder that when you're doing these videos, the thing that you need to be doing is using your notebook and copying down the problem or the drawing with the dimensions, and the dimensions are these numbers, the side lengths, into your notebook. So before we start trying to find the area of this complex shape, go ahead and pause the video, copy this picture down into your notebook with the dimensions. All right, now that you have it copied down, let's keep going. So we talked about before, in order to find the area of complex shape, the first thing you want to ask yourself is, what shapes can I divide this complex shape into that will be easy to work with? Now there's two ways that I could see you doing this problem. The one way that you could divide this up would be to make a rectangle based off the side length of uh, two inches, and then also cut off that triangle and also make a rectangle. But that's three pieces that we're working with, and it's possible that you could, and actually it's not possible, it, it totally is reasonable for you to be able to solve it that way. But I would suggest that you find the least number of shapes possible, um, because then you won't make as many errors possibly in your calculations. So here what I'm going to do is just cut my triangle off like that so that I'm left with this parallelogram below. So here and then my triangle up above. So now that we have our complex shape divided up, let's remind ourselves of our formulas for our areas of these shapes. So for my parallelogram, or for my uh, rectangle it looks like here, I have base times height. And then for my triangle, I'm actually gonna do my triangle work over here. Triangles are the area is equal to one half of the base times the height. So let's get started. I'm actually going to start working with my rectangle down here. So I need to know the base. Uh, now if you're looking up here, you're gonna see that we're missing a number here because this two only correlates from this over to here, okay? So luckily we have the dimension of this rectangle base down below, which means this entire length or this entire base is six. So we have a six. Sorry, I forgot my pen, and it's kind of difficult to write sometimes with just your finger on here. So we have six inches, and then we have our height. And our height is right over here. This entire side length is five inches, so let's write five inches. All right, so we have an area of 30 inches square. Inches times inches is inches squared. Let's work on our triangle. Now we need to know the base and the height, and then we're going to divide it by two. So right away, you might be saying, well, that's weird, because I don't know the base, and I don't know the height. So before you start to freak out about it, don't, because we'll be able to figure this out. This is where it becomes kind of a puzzle. Ah, interesting. So what we do know is we have to think about our properties of um, parallelograms and triangles. So we know that this entire base down here, this side length, this dimension is six inches. So if we were to transfer that up to this side of our rectangle, this entire side length up here is six inches as well. Okay. But we only need to know this piece of it. And notice that if this entire thing is six inches, so if this is all six inches, Notice that we're already given how long this piece is right here, which is two inches. So now we're just going to do some subtraction. We're going to find this piece by subtracting six and two. And we know that six minus two is four. So this base is four inches. Now let's go on to our height. I'm actually gonna write that over here. Our height for this entire side, or I shouldn't say height, this dimension of this entire side length over here 
is eight inches. So not just this piece and not just this piece. This entire part is eight inches. If we go back to our properties of rectangles, we know that this side over here is five inches. So if we were to transfer that side over here, we know that this is worth five inches, but we need to get to eight inches yet. So that means that eight minus five would be three inches. So that would be this over here because it's five inches down below and three plus five is eight. So we have one half times 12, which gives us six inches square. And if we add that together, we have 30 inches squared plus six inches squared would give us 36 inches squared would be our entire area of this complex shape. 